So I've been continuing on with this three-part semi-autonomous camera dolly for a while now. And I've come to the conclusion that it's a fail. And it's a fail because, not because of the idea, but because of the execution of three different parts, separate parts being able to be used independently. And some of the things I was trying to achieve are actually not necessary. And as a result, overcomplicated. So that's why I'm calling it a fail, and that's why I'm going to stop and change the approach slightly. So based on that, let's have a look at what I was doing originally that's really not right and where to from here. Okay, so the overall execution of the device and the, the ability to have something pass in front of you semi-autonomously, do a pan shot or a tilt shot or a combination of, uh, works fairly well. As you can see by this sort of not very glamorous nostril shot of a, uh, a pan, a very slow one. And of course you can get a faster motion, a faster pan depending on the settings that you've chosen. But I've also chosen potentiometers to be able to select the inputs, whether the, the speed and the distance. Uh, I think that approach is flawed. Uh, I've used NEMA 17s with a 20, 27 to 1 gearbox ratio on each one. That has some restrictions that's not very functional and useful. And I've also been using what I had at hand, which was some uh, Arduino Unos and some 2 amp uh, stepper motor drivers, which are physically fairly large. I think all of those things, or at least most of those things that I've chosen to be able to build up this autonomous camera dolly are the wrong things. And a part of the reason it's wrong is because I've been using what I had handy rather than what I should be using. So because this is intended to be a, a functional and a useful device at the end of the day, I want it working for me, not me working for it. So how do I achieve that? Instead of using the parts that I've got lying around and trying to build up something using that a methodology, start from scratch and build it for its intended purpose. Go from the end objective and move backwards. So I will probably keep the dolly component, as you can see on the bottom there, that's working fairly well. But the pan and the tilt mechanism needs to be one mechanism, it needs to be controlled by one Arduino, not an Uno. Should be using a Nano because that's got all of the inputs and outputs that I require and the stepper motor driver that I've chosen is actually too big, physically too large, and it runs a two amp stepper motor. These are 0.4 amp stepper motors, so I don't need anything that powerful. If I actually use the uh, easy driver, it has all of the functions and the features that I require, including 1 16th micro stepping, and the ability to run uh, a five volt output, so seven to, seven to 30 volts input into the easy driver, five volts out going to the Arduino, which is pretty much the current setup that I'm using at the moment, and uh, the ability to drive a 0.4 amp stepper motor, including 1 16th uh, micro steps. So that means I don't need the gearbox, except where I require a lot of torque, and the, the tilting mechanism is the, about the only area that I'll require a lot of torque, and a very, very small amount of speed options. But with micro stepping and 1 16th micro stepping i can have a normal everyday nema 17 stepper motor in play with 200 steps uh, 16 times that in resolution because of the micro stepping and i can get quite a large range of speed options as long as i don't require the torque obviously as you remember the more torque you require you can't use micro stepping because every time you use a micro step you halve the available torque and i'm already only talking about a 0.4 amp uh, stepper motor and therefore the holding torque is limited but the panning tilting one I'll use a gearbox driven one there therefore fantastic holding torque and for everything else I can start to use smaller non-gearbox stepper motors standard 0.4 amp 200 steps and with the easy driver micro step them to get a huge range of speed and a lot more functionality usability but the main focus at the moment is to redesign the panning and the tilting head into one unit and mount that to the platform that I've got here at the moment and give me a more compact, more usable, more functional device. Uh, and I've also done away with the Unos. I've gone for um, Arduino Nanos, 
with a prototyping board on there, a shielding uh, board, screw terminal board. And like I said, I'll change those large um, stepper motor drivers for the easy driver. So that's the, basically the update that I wanted to cover off and the major fails. Uh, not thinking about the end state of the project, whereby I just want to get a smartphone to dial in the thing that I wanted to do, pan this much, tilt this much, move this far along and hit go, rather than having all of these little trim pots and setting it all up and hitting three individual switches. None of that's going to work properly. So I'll go back to the drawing board, redesign the middle tier or the panning and tilting head, uh, integrate the probably a Raspberry Pi 3 straight away rather than do it at the last step and get a Raspberry Pi interface that I can just use a smartphone, connect to the Pi, dial in the functions that I want and hit go to start the dolly. So thank you very much for joining me for the update. Hopefully it won't take so long for the next post to come through, but I will start working on this one so I can finish this project and actually start using it myself. That's it for this week. Thank you. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.